Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetTools.com, and today we are going to tell you how you can actually change the UI on Nokia X or Nokia X Plus or Nokia XL and other Nokia X series devices which are running on custom version of Android. This custom version of Android is based on Android open source platform AOSP. It, this one is based on Jelly Bean 4.1.2 and this is not the same Android which we see on other Android phones as far as OS is concerned because this OS which is running on this device does not support Google application like Google Play Store, Google Maps, Google Email, the Gmail application as well is not supported. So any application which is using the Google API, it is not supported on this one. But when it comes to third party applications like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and other applications, you can install them on this device with the help of third party app stores again which is called the one mobile market but again the google play store will not work on this device you will not be able to install anything from the google play store in case you have the apk file you can actually install application uh, uh, with the help of these apk files you can instantly side load these application by transferring these application to the sd card you can insert an sd card into this device and then you can use the f file manager which comes to install and with this application you can actually install application when when you have the apk file for the same now this device has a UI which is not like the Android UI which you might have seen on any other Android phone but this one has a very custom UI which looks like the Lumia phones as it has these icons which can be increased in terms of the size and decreased as well in the form of tiles and you do have something inherited from the Asha phones as well you have the fast lane over here which is again inherited from Asha phones so this phone as far as UI is concerned is a combination of Lumia phones and the uh, Asha phones but some people will definitely don't like this UI because this UI is again not very fast and whenever you need to do anything on this phone in case you are running any application for example if I run this application called task killer which is another third party application with the help of which I was able to kill applications running in the background on this device when I, when, once I kill all these applications running in the background it will give me this lag of please wait anytime I do that before it takes me to the home screen so the kind of overall UI lag which I notice in this custom UI which is running on top of Android is definitely not good and it does give you problems at times now I'm going to tell you how you can actually sideload some custom launchers like Apex launcher Nova launcher and then you have other launchers as well which are supported on this device and you can actually completely change the look and feel of this device and the functionality as well to a great extent now in order to install these custom launchers first of all you need to install this one mobile market for installing one mobile market you just need to go to Nokia store and under Nokia store search for any application which is not supported on this device or which is not there in the Nokia store so now as you can see it has tried to search Instagram and now it is giving me the option of installing this application from one mobile market or Aptoid. So we will select one mobile market as of now. If one mobile market is not installed on phone on your Nokia X, Nokia X Plus or Excel or any other X series phone, you will have the option of downloading it because we have already downloaded it. So it will give us the option of opening it. Once you open this, now you can actually go and search for any application which you would like to download from here. And here you have the option of installing the different launchers like Apex Launcher. You can either search for Apex Launcher, Nova Launcher you can actually install from here. So first of all let's search for Apex Launcher. So Apex Launcher is already installed so that is why it is giving me the option. So you can install different launchers like Nova Launcher, Apex Launcher from here only. And once you have downloaded them you will see them over here that we have Nova Launcher and Apex Launcher pre-installed and now with the help of these launchers you can actually change the complete Android on this device as far as the look and feel and the interface is concerned so let me first of all launch Apex Launcher so once you launch Apex Launcher or once you actually tap on the home button and tap and hold it will give you the option of going back to the home screen for example if you are in certain application you want to go to the home screen it will give you the option of going to the home screen uh, by selecting any launcher which you would like to use so right now it is going to the home screen because we have selected the normal default launcher on this device let's launch the Apex launcher and this is how the overall UI will look like 
once you have the apex launcher you will have the same kind of ui which you see on any other android phone on this one is still more but when it comes to application the application ui will not change but when it comes to the overall ui as far as home screen is concerned you will see that kind of ui you will also have these app drawer on this device once you have apex launcher you can actually see all the options are visible so the overall ui of the home screen as well as the uh, app drawer will get changed and this is definitely going to relieve a lot of people out there who are definitely not happy with the kind of ui which they have on this device as far as uh, the home screen ui is concerned and the transitions are concerned you can specify the custom settings from apex menu apex settings as well let me just go and show you the other launcher we have a nova launcher as well and once you have nova launcher this is how it will change the ui so you will see all those animations and transition which you see on nova launcher on this one as well apex launcher nova launcher or any other launcher you can think of is supported on this device we have not confirmed as of now we have not installed the nexus 5 launcher but that should also be supported right now we have installed the apex launcher and nova launcher and both of these launchers are actually supported and they change the ui of the phone especially the kind of ui it has now is much easier to understand much easier to use as well you can actually specify any of these launcher as the default launcher as well so that will also save a lot of time of yours especially whenever you have these launchers installed on this device and you don't have to actually learn the ui which is on nokia x or x series devices especially which come from nokia and it is a combination of lumia series phone and the asha phones which is this one this ui is kind of uh, difficult to understand confusing as well at times with with this fast lane and other things whereas if you have these launchers installed and if you actually specify any of these launchers as the default launcher you can actually see this ui all the time you don't have to actually go back to the normal ui of the phone so this is definitely going to be helpful especially this ui as compared to the normal nokia x ui is faster this one is much faster much easier to use whereas if we go back and take a look over the ui which we have the stock ui or the nokia ui this ui is definitely not that faster and it is kind of lag full it has a lot of lags at different stages either switching in between application or going to the home screen definitely this is not the ui which people who use android phone would like now in case you need to specify any specific launcher on this device as a default launcher you just need to tap and hold over the home button and it will give you this option once you have installed more launchers than the default launcher on the phone and now you can actually specify epic launcher for example as a default launcher and set it to always once we have set it to always whenever you uh, for example you have opened any specific application and you are coming back to the home screen you just tap and hold and it will it will take you to the epic launcher it will not show you the nokia launcher which is there on the device so this is how you can actually change the ui on this phone by installing third party launchers like nova launcher and epic launcher do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you